What is going on fellow outlaws outlaw Gary here and in today's video We are talking about the lawsuit that was against rockstar in regards to the Pinkertons now Of course if you guys are new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online as I upload every single day And of course if you enjoy the video be sure to drop a like let's go for over a thousand five hundred likes Because it's very interesting development as you guys may or may not know about uh, Three months ago. I believe it was in January the Pinkertons National Detective Agency decided they would pursue Rockstar Games legally in court for the representation or I guess the misrepresentation of the Pinkerton National Detective Agency. As you guys may or may not know in Red Dead Redemption 2 story, the Pinkertons were sort of like the protagonists. They were sort of like villains that were uh, after the main characters and it really made the Pinkertons not look great um, in the best light, I should say. It made the Pinkertons look like they were very corrupt and just were not the... A police of today, which in some cases are true. Uh, the Pinkerton National Detective Agency back then was pretty ruthless. It was almost its own army. Um, and that's how big and serious it was back then. Fast forward to uh, the representation of the Pinkertons in today's terms, looking at them through the eyes of Arthur Morgan. Um, you guys may have known that they were not the greatest people to deal with. They were always hunting the gang. And uh, as you guys know, the gang was super wanted, always doing crime, robbing banks and doing things that weren't very legal as they were outlaws of the west the pinkertons jobs were to secure the, the gang and bring them into justice now unfortunately some of the ways that the pinkertons were pictured throughout red dead redemption 2 story may not have been in the best of light uh, according to court documents obtained by the blast the pinkerton consulting investigations sent a cease and desist letter december 13th 2018 to rockstar games and take two interactive the company claims they've been around for 165 years and in the 1870s the agency worked with law enforcement to apprehend famous criminals across the country the pinkertons claim that rockstar used their trademarks finger uh feature the Pinkerton detective badge without permission in Red Dead Redemption 2. They claim the Pinkerton National Detective Agency characters are used as villains hunting the game's protagonists, which is not really the case. I mean, I think they're not really villains. They're just cops hunting villains. I don't, I don't get that. But uh, they proceed to say that um, in the legal letter, the Pinkerton says the game makers made it seem like somehow they're connected to Red Dead when they never gave their authorization. They believe the game is likely to blur the distinctive character and tarnish the reputation of Pinkerton's famous trademarks. Pinkerton makes it clear that in the letter, they're willing to discuss a lump sum figure to settle the dispute. Otherwise, they are prepared to sue for trademark infringement among other claims. Now, that's crazy because that just sounds super, super money hungry, which Honestly, they, I believe, have the right to do it because their logos, trademarks, and things of that nature were used in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, the fact that we even got here, I think what ends up happening is people make money. Other people want that, want that money. And uh, sometimes when they say, when they see people making money off their inter intellectual property, they're like, oh man, that's our trademark. Uh, we are the Pinkertons and they're using us in their game and making tons of money off it. We need some of that money. In some ways, it's super, super sucks, and I think it's wrong. I feel like the only reason why this even happened is because Rockstar Games Red Dead Redemption 2 was so successful. It was not as successful. It was number one best-selling game on PS4 um, in 2018. Also uh, made close to a billion dollars. Tons of money made. The Pinkertons just want to cut. They want a piece of the pie, and that always happens when it comes to success, even for people that like win the lotto. Family members, uh, old neighbors, old schoolmates, old friends, come knocking like hey you remember that five dollars you owed me 50 years ago well because of interest you owe now owe me a hundred thousand like that stuff actually happens not of course that extreme detail but uh rockstar decided to fight back so when they first got that lawsuit they were like oh hell no rockstar's like let's go baby and rockstar's pretty good at uh defending their intellectual property and their trademarks and are always willing to suit up for court i mean th they are very good with uh, protecting their the thing that they create. It's just like, that's just most AAA titles. Rockstar and um, Take-Two are very, very good at it. They decided to file a suit back um, against them, seeking an injunction against Pinkerton Detective Agency and ruling that the use of the Pinkerton in game is covered by the First Amendment. Now in the United States, we have our amendments. And a lot of times when things go to court, especially for trademark and fair use and all those things, um, 
where we always resort to the amendments. Like, hey, this is covered by uh, freedom of speech and freedom of press and all those things. So that's what Rockstar did in their, in their rebuttal to their initial lawsuit. So they countersued and things never really progressed. This happened in January. So Rockstar argued that Red Dead Redemption 2, the game, is a historically accurate video game set in the Wild West in the late 1800s. They claim that historical references are woven into the fabric of the game at every single level. Now, the game's references to the historical Pinkerton National Detective Agency and its agents is but one of myriad of ways that the Red Dead Redemption 2 accurately portrays the historical 19th century American landscape, Rockstar claims. So they're saying that, hey, the way that we portrayed the Pinkerton National Detective Agency was 100% legit, and it was just one of the many ways that this time period um, was, was like going on. This, this is what was going on. So um, the company argues that the Pinkertons are not overly featured in the game, which is true. Out of the 106 missions in the 60 hour game, there's only 10 missions that feature Pinkerton characters. They also claim the term Pinkertons has been a staple in works of historical fiction about the Wild West, including other films like The Long Riders and television shows like Red Dead Red or Deadwood and songs like Elton John's Ballad of Well-Known Gun. Rockstar claims that their references to the Pinkerton Detective Agency and Pinkerton in Red Dead Redemption 2 are uh, protected by the First Amendment and do not infringe on any of the rights held by Pinkerton Consulting and Investigations. Rockstar said they are now asking for a judge to rule in their favor and not infringing on any Pinkerton trademark. So fast forward, dudes. Fast forward to where we are now, right? We are now three months in after Rockstar countersued. So in December, the Pinkertons sued Rockstar. In January, Rockstar countersued Pinkertons. And now we're in April, April 14th. Now, a few months ago, uh, Rockstar countersued. And now we are here and Rockstar has stated that they voluntarily withdrew their lawsuit. But considering there was no mention of the Pinkertons lawsuit, especially it going forward and it like progressing, it is likely that Rockstar ended up coming up with the money and saying, look, this is going to cost us a lot more money to go to court and fight out than you're going to get from us. But they're willing to give just some money so that they could just leave them alone. Um, and this happens often. They come to a settlement and the settlement may not have been as large as they would have wanted, but it was large enough that the Pinkertons just decided like, okay, we'll just settle for this. Let's do it. It may not have been a large amount of money, but it was most likely an amount of money that they were happy with so they could just drop everything. Now, we don't know this for sure. We won't know it probably at all. We won't get any information in regards to this ever in the future. We might not even know how much was paid or anything, but nothing really changed on Rockstar's end. The Pinkertons are still in the game. Game. You can still buy Red Dead Redemption 2 today on PS4 and Xbox One, and most likely will be coming out on PC as well. Now, the Pinkertons as a whole are a very cool agency, and I think in some ways they um, they wanted to make some cash. I'm sure they made some money off this. I would assume in the upwards of 100000 200000 dollars um, possibly even millions. I'm not sure, um, especially because there are 10 missions out of 106. Now, out of those 10 missions, 106, it's almost like, that's like 8%, a little bit less than 8%. Um, so 8% of Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, missions are Pinkerton based. So if that's the case, then I think uh, they might have actually gotten some money, but we don't exactly know how much. And I think all in all, uh, Rockstar might have just decided to just give them the money so they could just leave them alone. Because having a lawsuit against you is never a good thing. It's it's never it's never great. So they did voluntarily remove their lawsuit and uh, they wanted to dismiss the case against the Pinkerton company, but they never really said why. They just did it. And honestly, I think it might have been the better for the future so that they can proceed to do whatever they need to do if this was holding them back from future story mode stuff or anything else they had planned for the future whether there was dlcs in in, in mind or, or anything that involved pinkertons it's good to just settle things and get it over with and then go from there so if take two or rockstar ended up uh settling with them i'm sure it was a pretty good amount of money but we will really never know how much that money was but we can know now all the stuff involving the pinkertons and fair use and all that is now behind us i'm excited to see what happens i'm hopefully we get some cool single player DLC with all the stuff that we know. We're gonna have to wait and see. But of course, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And of course, I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. And I sort of need to let you guys know now um, that I I think I might take like a few days off this week, or like maybe like once a week take a day off or two times a week. I need to make sure that I I'm been I've been working like 15, 16 hour days on Red Dead Redemption, on GTA 5, on Fortnite, all the games and all the stuff I do, whether it's streaming.
streaming and my, and my two other YouTube channels. I just want to let you guys know, for those of you that watch all the way to the end, I need to take some personal time to make sure that uh, my life doesn't fall apart trying to uh, work so much. So I got to make sure that my fiance is happy. I need to make sure that I'm healthy. I haven't gone to the doctor in like two years. I just haven't been really taking care of myself uh, since I started doing YouTube. And I really need to just make sure that my health comes first. My health, my fiance, and then my work because I think as an entrepreneur and, and me as a person I've always put my work first and um, you know the reason why is because I've been working towards building a future for my family which is my fiance my, my awesome dog Astro which you guys saw in this video and uh, I I gotta make sure that you know long term this is I can I can make it viable and everyone stays happy you guys included my fiance me everyone needs to be happy I can do that I just need to properly schedule and plan so stick with me guys I love you I'm not going anywhere I plan on continuing I just want to let you guys know if I miss a day or two days just it's, it's a mental health day or a health day in general for my life. So I love you dudes and uh, you should be right. Stay tuned.